the small intestine and large intestine. In this module, let us learn about the process of digestion in the small intestine and large intestine. The small intestine is highly coiled and is about 7.5 meters in length. The walls of the small intestine secretes juices. It also receives secretions from the liver and the pancreas. The liver is a reddish brown gland situated in the upper part of the abdomen on the right side. It is the largest gland in the body. It secretes bile juice that is sorted in a sac called the gallbladder. Bile helps in the digestion of fats. The pancreas is a large cream colored gland located below the stomach. Pancreas secrete pancreatic juice that acts on carbohydrates and proteins and changes them into simpler forms. The partly digested food now reaches the lower part of the small intestine where the intestinal juice completes the digestion of all components of the food. The carbohydrates get broken into simple sugars such as glucose, fats into fatty acids and glycerol and proteins into amino acids. Now let us know about absorption in the small intestine. The completely digested food enters into the blood vessels in the wall of the small intestine. This process is called absorption. The inner walls of the small intestine have thousands of finger-like outgrowths which are called willi. The willi increase the surface area for absorption of the digested food. Each villus has a network of thin and small blood vessels close to its surface. The willi absorbs the digested food materials and these food materials are transported via blood vessels to different organs of the body where they are used to build complex substances such as the proteins required by the body. This is called assimilation. In the cells, glucose breaks down with the help of oxygen into carbon dioxide and water and energy is released. The food that remains undigested and unabsorbed then enters into the large intestine. Now let us learn about the large intestine. The large intestine is wider and shorter than small intestine. It is about 1.5 meters long. It absorbs water and some salts from the undigested food material. The remaining waste passes into the rectum and remains there as semi-solid faeces. The fecal matter is removed through the anus from time to time. This is called egestion. Thus we have learnt about the human digestive system.